Hi everybody, welcome back. After my universe themed journal for the month of April, I wanted to make a calendar to display in my home with the same theme. Uh, so I gave a try to the lunar calendar and I loved it. In this video, I will show you how I made this calendar. Uh, take any uh, paper of your choice, preferably the watercolor paper and whatever size it may be, just divide it into half and draw four circles on either sides and uh, do the same uh, in the second row. In the third and the fourth row, just do seven circles. So it will add up to 30 circles as 30 um, days of the April. Now let's get into the painting part. I'm going to be using this uh, watercolor paint, uh, the uh, gouache painting from Reeves, the black and gray and the metallic watercolor paint palette. And before we start, I mark the uh, new moon day and the full moon day according to the calendar that my mom follows. Uh, it may be different from the calendar that is in the internet or the Google. I started with outlining the moon. April 4th is the uh, new moon day. So I drew the vanning crescents on the first three moon. Make sure the size of the crescent is decreasing as towards the um, new moon day. In the western culture, four phases of moon is observed. The new moon, first quarter half moon, full moon and the last quarter half moon. April 4th is the new moon and April 19th is the full moon. So uh, somewhere in the middle, April 12th is the uh, first quarter. Mark the day, I mean half moon stage and draw the crescent accordingly. Like keep increasing the crescents uh, from April 5th towards the April 19th. So April 12th is exactly the uh, half moon uh, stage. Then again from April 12th, 12th towards the full moon uh, the shape of the moon is called gibbous because it is more than half uh, then you can build you can build accordingly uh, from april 12th uh, so that on april 19th it's the full moon day and the you i mean you get to draw the complete moon on the day here you can see all the moon faces for this month Guys, uh, I'm not trying to teach the watercolor painting because I myself, I'm still learning it. I'm just showing you the way how I did and how it worked out for me. Now let's start painting the moon. Wet the surface where you're going to draw the moon. Then just take a little bit of the gray color and keep a dart of the gray color on the wet area and that's going to start to bleed and it will uh, create a natural uh, shape and texture. At this point, I thought I'll make it whimsical by adding touches of gold to the moon. I use this uh, gold from the metallic watercolor paint set and I made sure the uh, paint is really thick I mean it's not runny and so that uh, the moon gets a real gold foiling instead of a, a runny transparent gold shade on the moon. I went ahead and painted the no moon day. I mean in the new moon day with the full blue uh, but still it has the moon pattern I didn't like the blue bordering of the moon so I went ahead and painted the entire area with blue uh, so that it's like a space before adding the gold stars on the backdrop I I started to write the date and the day uh, I hand lettered uh, the month April 2019 and uh, an area for birthdays and notes and brought in the uh, gold star theme into into these with my gold jelly roll guys you can do this calendar with doodling instead of uh, watercolor or you can just use uh, the monochromatic black uh, black and white color but just give it a try and you will feel good about your work if you if you try this lunar calendar do share with me in instagram i am green lotus 2019 in instagram and thank you for watching and feel free to subscribe to this channel and like and share this video
Until next time, bye-bye.